Hey Steve, it's Thursday and I am on my way back from Chicago. I'm on an airplane. See? An airplane. I'm going to have to hold a microphone right now because that's the only way that you're going to be able to hear me. Anyway, let's make like a bunny chasing a carrot and hop to it. Question one, when have I put my faith in myself rather than God? I feel like I'm almost always having to force myself to remember that God is with me, that God is the one holding my life together. Even when it comes to beginning or ending my day, I'm much more likely to forget to pray than I am to forget to brush my teeth. All too often, it seems that, functionally speaking, I live my life as if there weren't a God. It's not that I don't believe that God is there, it's just that I don't live like he's there. The thing about the fast, though, is that it does help me to bear him in remembrance. Like, there's a reason to this whole thing. Even just having the dietary restrictions forces me to remember the Lord before I eat. I just hope that I can learn to trust him as a result. Question two, how do I talk about faith? I've been trying to work through this question quite a bit, actually. Like a lot of other people, if I'm not careful, I tend to speak of faith as though it were an intellectual acquisition. You know, that I want to know more about my faith, that I want to learn to defend my faith, etc. Very rarely is faith a living, breathing dynamic that forces me into holding on to the living Christ. Faith that saves isn't just a matter of knowing, though. It's a matter of seeing my own story being held in Christ's hands. It's a matter of seeing my life hidden with God in Christ, knowing that I need not fear death. Faith isn't just about having the right beliefs. It's about walking so closely to Christ that I need not worry about my own security in life. But alas, I'm weak, and it often just feels better being somebody who knows the right thing rather than being somebody who is holding on to Christ. But man, when I really slow down more than anything, I just long to be united with him, to partake of him, and to share him with the world. Question three, have I ever had an opportunity like Abraham? Yes, I think that moving to Phoenix was one of those scary, uncertain opportunities to follow the Lord. Moving to Phoenix five years ago was a really difficult thing. I moved away from family, from friends, and from my parish. I moved to a city where I knew nobody and I wasn't even sure if I was going to make any friends. But I moved here and I met my wife and now we have a beautiful little family. I thought I was moving out here for work, but in the end it turned out I was moving out here for a family. I think I definitely traded up. But I mean, it's hard to know whether big risks will lead to big blessings. But in my case, I definitely feel that's what happened. Phoenix is still a really difficult place for me to live, and I'm trying, like Abraham, to trust in the Lord's promise. But then when I remember how good he's already been to me, it makes it a lot easier. All right, Steve, that's all I got. I'll see you on Monday.